There's a ton of different business models that go on within the general terms of Amazon FBA. You have private label, you have Amazon wholesale, you have online arbitrage, retail arbitrage. There's a ton of different ways for you to source your products that you can buy for less and sell for more on Amazon. In this video, we're gonna be going over exactly why wholesale is the best Amazon FBA business model in 2023. All of these different business models that have to do with Amazon FBA, all they really involve is the way that you're sourcing your product. The bottom line is, newsflash, the only way to make money with Amazon FBA is to source products consistently. When you start to scale and grow your Amazon FBA business, you're gonna want the easiest and most systematic approach to being able to purchase and bring on profitable inventory consistently that you can buy for less and sell for more on Amazon. Wholesale allows you to do that because it allows you to replenish SKUs and actually build out long-term relationships with suppliers that you can consistently purchase inventory and buy for less and sell for more. The barrier to entry to wholesale is actually worlds higher than the rest of the other business models. With retail arbitrage, you can get out there to your local TJ Maxx or whatever store that's nearby and go purchase products today. With online arbitrage, you can go around as soon as today and start purchasing inventory from all the various online retailer sites. Even with private label, you could start purchasing inventory now because Alibaba suppliers are willing to send you samples and send you products ASAP, although there's a little bit of a lead time. With wholesale though, none of the wholesalers that you should be trying to work with should actually sell to you without giving them an application and a ton of different information. That's just how the model works. And the bottom line is with wholesale too, you are not going to get the best pricing for Amazon FBA wholesale inventory on the first go you might not even get it in the first six months. That's why wholesale becomes a much better business model as time goes on. A lot of people say online arbitrage is easier to start and harder to scale, and wholesale is harder to start but easier to scale. That's very true. You wanna get into wholesale because of the barrier to entry and a lot of people can't actually be doing it. This is neglecting the fact if you have a very small budget, there's a lot of pros to not doing the wholesale model, but if you do have a budget and you have some history with Amazon and you know what you're doing, going all into wholesale is gonna allow you to scale your business much, much faster. You just have to put in that first six to 12 months into it to actually build out the relationships, start purchasing products from wholesalers and start to grow. The only way to actually make money with wholesale is to start purchasing from wholesalers and see what their pricing looks like, see what the way they work looks like, get a relationship going with your rep. It's not gonna happen overnight and it's not just gonna start for you. A lot of you guys are stuck up on saying the wholesalers that I have, they have no profitable products. The bottom line is they actually do. They're just not offering them to you because you're a small seller and they can tell. And you need to broaden the way that you're looking at this and actually start to put your foot in the door in order to grow your business. If you can make any sort of profit, I'm talking like $100, $200 profit off your first wholesale order after all the expenses are paid, you have a really good wholesaler in front of you because it's going to change as time goes on and you can go through more of their products. It just takes time. A lot of you think you're gonna hit a home run and make a 40% ROI on your first wholesale order. Why would they give you the best pricing? Why would a wholesaler give you the best pricing that they've been giving to other sellers that are purchasing hundreds of thousands of dollars from them when you place a $1,500 order? It's just not gonna happen. There's no reason for it. They actually don't need your business. These wholesalers sell to a ton of large businesses that are purchasing five, 10, 15, $20,000 every day, every week from them they don't need your business at $1,500 to hit their MOQ. That's the issue that people have is the best way to get in with wholesalers is to come in and order with money and prove that you're a professional, even if you're not. You don't have to actually be a professional when you first start, everybody starts somewhere, but you have to carry yourself like one. You're a professional, I'm a professional. And not ask BS questions to try and get $100 off of a $5,000 order. That's not what's gonna get your foot in the door. You need to prove to them that you're a good person. You need to prove to them that you're looking to do serious business and you need to actually show that by placing consistent purchase orders. That's why your wholesale business isn't working and that's why wholesale is the best model. Most people are not willing to do that extra work of putting some break even orders in to get their foot in the door to then build out a relationship six months from now that'll make them money. That's how this business works. Wholesale has the most outreach and can scale you to tens of thousands, if not millions of dollars, even monthly in sales. It's the only way to do so, but you have to be willing to start somewhere and start getting your foot in the door to build out relationships for six to 12 months from now. 
With that being said, that's it for today's video about Amazon FBA Wholesale and why wholesale is the best business model. If you have any more questions about Amazon FBA Wholesale or Amazon FBA in general, feel free to click the link down below and join our free Discord server. And you can talk with myself and my team and a lot of like-minded Amazon FBA sellers to help start your journey. Thank you for your business.